Welcome, everybody. My name is Bennett Fitch with Nori Corporation, and today we're going to be sharing a bit in this short educational video on the circular use of oil. We have one of our special guests, an industry leader. We have Alessandro DeMaio. Welcome, Alessandro. Thank you, and hello, everybody. <laughs> he is the technical sales manager for SKF Recond Oil. So some of you have maybe been familiar with SKF Recond Oil because we've had a couple different uh, videos about this new technology in the past and it's really exciting to learn more about it because it's going to and has already been changing the way we think about oil and the use of oil um, so recon oil is in the forefront of revolutionizing the way we think about the use of oil and sustainability not just sustainability of lubrication but sustainability of our machines so thank you for joining us alejandro you want to tell us a little bit about who you and, and your organization before we get started Yes, sure. My name is Alessandro Maio. I am a mechanical engineer. I joined uh, Recond Oil uh, two years ago, uh, April 2021. It was uh, pretty exciting to me to, to know that there were an, a company which was taking care about circular use of oil. My background is in lubricants and lubrication. I, I spent all my working life in lubricants with a multinational company. And that was for me very natural to move from linear to circular. That's a great way to phrase it. So going from linear to circular, a lot of people are familiar with, you know, using oil to the extent to the life of the oil. And then the what seems to be inevitable requirement to change out the oil, because, of course, we need to keep the oil clean, cool and dry, you know, with the right state changed out the right time. Otherwise, the machines will ultimately suffer. But if we think about the opportunity of circular use of oil, well, that's kind of the whole theme of this conversation here, using the oil continuously and in a way that keeps it fresh. We have to use a technology to get it to that state. So we'll be discussing about the circular use of oil, how to achieve it, and to really determine whether or not that's something that makes sense for your applications and your plant. Okay, Alessandro, let's kind of get into this. We're going to do a little mm -hmm. bit of a, a question and answer. So uh, the first question I have here, the circular use of oil, the ability for us to use the oil over and over. That's achieved through a technology called DST or double separation technology. Can you explain a little bit more about that and how it works? Yes, sure. You're, you're right. DST stands for double separation technology. It's a proprietary technology developed by SKF using a substance called Booster. The booster has uh, acted as a coalescer by grouping small particles in larger clusters, allowing them to be captured by the filtration media, which represent the second stage of separation. Since most contaminants and degradation products of a lubricant have a submicron size, they cannot be separated from the oil with conventional system. Hence, this breakthrough technology, the invention of DST, allows to capture these particles, oil degradation by products, and to some extent water, whose size and quantity cannot be captured with the current technologies. So, I mean, that sounds interesting, the concept of using a booster to kind of help enhance the ability mm -hmm. to filter the oil, bringing those particles together. We know that most conventional filters, um, you have a micron size, which they capture particles at that size or greater at a particular efficiency. We call the beta ratio um, to identify that efficiency. But if we can't capture the smaller particles, um, that becomes quite uh, of, a, of a problem as well, because we know even those smart, smaller particles, even less than a micron, can very well uh, damage our machines because of the film thickness that's at that micron size. So if you're bringing particles together that are smaller to a larger size, um to to filter out that you know that really can be an opportunity there so the next question i have is there really a limit to the size of particles that can be filtered out well we say that we can manage to separate uh, nanoparticles however the filtration equivalent to a traditional filtration media could be comparable to 0 0.1 micron filter Analyzing the contaminants in an oil, we estimate that only 20% of the total surface is represented by particle of micron size, while the remaining 80% is made of submicron particles, and those ones be boost the degradation of the oil and promote wear. 
The DST process extended the reconditioning of the oil to this remaining 80% of contaminants, which cannot be captured using conventional mechanical filtration systems. Sounds like you had a bit of success doing this. So that's exciting. So think about all the different applications oil goes into. Um, there's different kinds of stressors that cause the oil potentially to fail, um, different needs based on the environment, operating conditions. Um, is there any kind of uh, use or type of oil that might be uh, the focus of the, uh, what this technology here? What type of oil can be used here? Well, um, with the Recond oil, we can treat any type of lubricant, mineral or synthetic. Okay. Uh, so far, I've excluded the emulsions and uh, solutions in water. Application focus application are basically the, the the most uh, let's say common ones like hydraulics gear circulating compressor turbine. Any application, however, is subject to a validation process through our labs to define two most important properties. The first one is the compatibility of the lubricant with the DST process and the treatability. So, what kind of uh, objective you can achieve by using this process. For every single specific lubricant and application, and this gives us a, a good uh, idea of what can be the best technology we can use to recondition the lubricant. Okay, so this DST technology can really be used in all kinds of oil and really depending on the reliability objective they're trying to achieve, the sustainability objectives they're trying to achieve. Um, so we can integrate this into any application for, I guess, continuous regeneration or reuse of the oil. In other words, um, it mm -hmm. can potentially you know, avoid the replacement, the full replacement of the oil. Is that true? Yeah, is that true? So DST basically is a process itself. So, uh, and as such is applicable at different scale size, either as a batch regeneration or for continuous regeneration. Uh, our top seller, Recond Oil Box, for example, is a a machine des designed to be suitable for use as a system fully integrated uh, with the customer tank with no impact on production process, providing mm -hmm. a continuous regeneration of, of the lubricant. And the same type of equipment can be also arranged for batch regeneration, reconditioning batches of lubricants that can eventually be put in service again at the customer site. So you have full circularity in this case so by reusing an oil which you eventually would have sent to waste or re continuously reconditioning on the machine mm -hmm. itself. That sounds uh, very interesting. Um, we, you know, we talk a lot about in our uh, machinery lubrication trainings the importance of monitoring additive levels along with the properties of the base oil. And over time, additives can become depleted and the oil lubricating properties will change. Do you, does Recon Oil, SKF Recon Oil, kind of address this? Yes. Um, what we do first is running validation tests. The validation okay. tests uh, help us to investigate in details on how the DST process impact on the additivation of the oil. And we also simulate the, pro the process itself to measure if there is an impact on the depletion of additives. In real life, we have to keep in mind that uh, additive depletion and, and oil degradation is due to aging process, contaminants, and operating conditions. Since with Recond Oil, we get rid, basically, of oil degradation by products and contaminants, we have, therefore, a much reduced additive consumption. Anyhow, we monitor the oil uh, through oil condition monitoring on a routine basis to measure the working parameters of the DST solution, including the additivation levels. And based on this data, we can propose different solutions to the customer to further extend the oil lifetime. Well, that's a great uh, explanation there. We know how important additives are to be monitored. And if you have an ability to stop what influences the depletion of additives, which mostly is related to contamination, and that can lead to the, the byproducts of oxidation and thermal degradation, and solve that even before it even begins, you know, that, that's a great opportunity there. Um, so from your experience and the customers you've had using this technology, what are some key benefits you've seen with the use of circular uh, use of oil? Well, with the circular use of oil, there are 
uh, three orders of benefit. The first one is the environmental benefit. So using less oil, you are producing less waste. And just keep in mind that every ton of lubricant sent to waste generates 3.8 tons of CO2. There is the second benefit, which is a financial benefit, because reducing the amount of oil purchase, you are reducing also the inventories, logistics, warehousing, and everything which is around lubrication. Third one is a benefit which re regards the productivity. Reconditioning the oil means that you have an oil which is under control and condition, it with a very which is very clean compared to the fresh oil. And this helps the machine, of course, running smooth and reducing the, the occurrence of unplanned maintenance. So in this case, you increase the productivity due to the fact that you have major machine uptime. So we have a, an environmental opportunity, we have a financial opportunity, and we have a production opportunity. All things individually by themselves would be a you know, reason to consider something like this. And, and we know how important it is to keep lubricants clean in general. We, we talk about all the time, clean, cool, and dry, but a way to keep that to extending longer um, sounds quite substantial. Now, one thing we talk about in our um, courses and throughout the subject of lubrication is the use of oil analysis, used oil analysis. So would you think, uh, that is oil analysis a necessity when using the DST technology here? Oh, well, we truly believe that used oil analysis has been demonstrated mm -hmm. to be one of the most effective, proactive maintenance tools. Since the process, the DST process involves lubricants, used oil analysis program is part of it. Mm -hmm. So we use it always in our oil as a service program in order to measure reconditioning process performance, lubricant condition and additive levels, equipment condition and components performance. So the answer is yes, it's a necessity and it's a very, very important part. Uh, I like what you said there with proactive maintenance. You know, oil analysis has been very effective at providing that level of opportunity to catch things at the state of the root cause rather than just letting you know something's at, at ready at a state of failure, whether it's the lubricant or the machine. And in this case, it could be paired nicely with the opportunities of DST because you can catch things kind of on both ends monitoring along the way. So I like that answer. Um, so to recap here, DST <clears throat> enables the use of circular use of oil by removing contaminants, <clears throat> excuse me, and purifying used oil to a quality that's comparable to that of even brand new oil. Um, so it's an oil filtration solution, an opportunity that can be used with various types of oil to integrate into all sorts of application for the continuous regeneration of the oil. Um, so Alessandro, before we conclude here in this discussion, um, is there any one last thing or anything you would like our listeners to consider or take away from listening to us today? Well, moving from uh, linear to circular, it, it mm -hmm. requires some, let's say, cultural step to, to be done. Um, okay. Today, lubricant is, um, uh, is seen as a consumable, right? Because you buy, use and waste. Uh, mm -hmm. The switch that we want to promote is moving this idea from consumable to asset. And when you start thinking lubricant as an asset, then the circular economy step is just uh, around the corner. I like that a lot. We, I, I always make that point, at least in the last few years I have. I didn't think about this initially when I got into uh, the lubrication business you know, a long time ago. Um, the idea that the lubricant is not supposed to be seen as a consumable, but set an asset. In this case, you're taking care of your asset by really ma making the best opportunity to keep it running as long as possible. Um, and so that's a, a great opportunity with the circular use of oil. So thank you. Um, to learn more about Re SKF Recon Oil, you visit the link in the description below and feel free to contact Alessandro directly. I will provide his email address. And thank you all so much and see you next time in Noria's educational videos and we'll see you then. Thanks, bye.